Hey everyone, Blue Maniac here, and today I am coming to you with a tutorial for the beautiful Checker Burst Bracelet. And um, this is one of my favorite designs. It's super thin and just really, really pretty. Um, and it is designed by my friend from Instagram at LTB Schaefer. And she is a super amazing designer. Um, she's actually done renditions of, I believe, every single bracelet from my channel. So um, I definitely appreciate her, and I'm super honored to be doing this tutorial. Um, and you will need three looms, and they'll be set up in this configuration. And um, before we get started, I will also tell you what bracelets I'm wearing right now because people are usually wondering. On my left uh, wrist, I have the Winter Blooms bracelet by Nox 21 And on my right wrist, I have the Salonia bracelet, which is my favorite design right now, and it is by Adele Griffiths. So now we can get started. So the first step is going to be to place that perimeter. And you'll start on this point right here, and you'll go off to the left, and you'll just follow that zigzag along the beginning. And from that point, go off to the right now. And if you want to do a full wrap, you will want to go up about um, 20. Uh, I did 20 for this one, and it fits my wrist perfectly, so about 20 gaps. And now we're going to go up the loom. And we're going to go up until we reach the fourth to last pin, which is actually before the end, and I'll show you why. So whenever we're nearing the end, um, we're going to be pointing it. And we could go up to here to point it, and it would end here, but then our um, starbursts don't line up. So make sure you only go to here because you want your point to be here. So now you'll go into the center. And that's very important or it won't line up at the end, so just trust me. <laughs> so now I'll do the same thing on the right. And I apologize if I don't talk much extra in this video. Um, I have strep throat right now, so it kind of hurts to talk, but I wanted to get this recorded, so. So we stop here, and now we will go into the center. like so. And now the next step is going to be to place zigzags going up both sides. So you can take your next color. I will be using Opaque Black from Rainbow Loom. And you're going to start on this first pin here. Go off to the right, then left, and just zigzag all the way up the loom. If you've watched a lot of my videos before, then you might notice that I'm doing a different angle on this one. I got a different tripod, so it actually does more of an overhead view instead of like a um, odd angle. So hopefully that makes it easier to see what I'm doing. Like so. And now we'll do the same thing on the right side, starting on this pin here. Just zigzag up the loom. Bands. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> For some reason, every now and then I have trouble with the black bands and the mango bands. They just kind of snap randomly, but no other colors because Rainbow Loom is super uh, durable bands, but just occasionally with the black and mango. I don't know why, but. So now whenever we have our zigzags placed, we are going to place um, single chains so you can get your next color. And we're going to be placing three of them. And I'll be using my red that I used for the perimeter again. And we're going to be placing those single chains on the second, fourth, and the uh, second to last pin bar here. So you'll start on this pin, and you're going to place a single all the way up on that row. Like so. And now same thing covering up this, 
this zigzag. So, and now we will also be placing a single in the center row here. Like so. And now we are going to be placing our starburst to fill in these gaps, as you can see on here. And on this one, I used my um, baby pink silk and the metallic blue uh, silicone. But for this one, um, I wanted to use colors that are kind of bright and will stand out from the loom. So I will be using the rainbow loom opaque pink and the opaque orange. And um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this checker pattern like this because after all it is the checker burst bracelet. But you can place them in any way that you would like. So you're going to be starting on this left side and we're going to fill in this whole left gap going up first. So you'll start on the second pin up. And you're going to go off to the uh, right at an angle. And make sure you place them like this because they are going to be linked together. So it's important to place them around in this way. So around clockwise and you've probably done a starburst before and you're familiar with this so now we go up to this pin here and you can place your second color that is if you're doing a checker um, a checker pattern now go up to here place your next one And if you place your perimeter correctly and you're only doing one loom length, then whenever you get to the top part, um, you should have five starbursts. And if you have kind of an awkward gap and um, a full starburst wouldn't fit in it, then that means that you uh, probably went too high on the perimeter. So I have to kind of backtrack a little bit. But Okay, so that is one side. And now for this next side, since I started with pink on this one, I'm going to start with orange on this one. So that'll give me the checkered look. And we're just going off to the right again, and continuing around clockwise. And then since orange is here, we're doing pink over here. I will show one more and then I'll go off screen. Actually, I might not. Two starbursts doesn't take too long to place. I'll probably just stay on. And you don't have to worry about pushing bands down too much because we are finished with our placement. We don't even have to place cap bands on this bracelet. So you can spin your loom around. And what I actually meant to say is that we don't have to place cap bands on our um, starburst. We do have to place them at the beginning. So but just take your perimeter color, place a cap band right there, and then you can get your hook and we are ready to loop. So the first step of our looping is going to be... Um, to loop out these starbursts and so we're actually going to need to put a cap band um, also at the bottom of both of these starting starburst points which I forgot about so place one there and a cap band there so you should have three on that V there and since the left um, starburst is on top that is the one we're going to be looping first so you'll go into this cap band grab the starburst that goes forward and pull it straight forward onto itself. So go into that kind of cap band created, 
and loop out from top to bottom, going around in a circle. Like so. And now you go into this pin, pull that band onto your next starburst, and loop it out from that length that you just looped. If that made sense at all. <laughs> Basically, just continuing that all the way up your loom. And if you're having trouble kind of separating your bands, I like to grab grab it from the side actually because you have enough space, um, especially without having a cap band, so you can kind of just go in there and grab it from the side to pull it out. So there we have the left side, and now we're actually doing the exact same thing on the right side. So you can push back this cap band, loop that forward, and we're just looping it out the exact same way that we did on the left. So it's pretty simple. So this will be the last one I'll show you, and then I'll go off screen, and you guys can finish looping those last three to save a little bit of time. So you'll continue doing that and you will loop up the rest of these three starbursts or however long um, you went if you did a full wrap. So I will go off screen I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so I'm back with all of those starbursts looped out and um, you can kind of push them down a little bit. And our next step is going to be to loop forward this single right here. So you'll go into this cap band, grab that top band which should be going forward, so pull it back to itself. And now we're just looping forward that single chain like so. All the way down the loom. Oops. And we'll be looping out these other two uh, single chains we have here. So you can push back this, uh, these two bands of your starburst. Pull it forward and just loop that single chain up. And there's kind of more bands to watch out for because you have to push back too and you have to kind of avoid grabbing those bottom two so it takes a little bit longer. Just like so. And same thing on the right, you just loop that out. Okay, just like so. And now the next step is going to be to loop out our um, zigzags on both sides. So you will go to where your first, it, where it kind of meets up on this point here. Push back those bands, and now you're just pulling out those zigzag bands from top to bottom, and just pull them back to themselves, like so. Sorry, that's my rabbit in the background running around his cage. So. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and that band just randomly broke, so I'm going to fix that and I'll be right back. Okay, simple fix. I took care of that, and now I can continue looping that out. And now we'll be doing the same thing on the right side. So I'll show you how to get started, and then I'll go off screen to finish it. So go into here. Just pull back those bands just the same way we did on the left side. And I might actually not go off screen for this because it's pretty quick, so. Okay, 
so now we're going to be looping out the perimeter. Just going to that cap band, hold them back to themselves. And same thing on the right from this cat band. Okay, so now you will take one of your perimeter color, stick your hook through all of the bands on that middle pin, put a band on the end of your hook, pull it through, so make sure it's grabbing all of those bands, oops, all those bands you can kind of put on your fingers now, and attach a C-clip, like so, and now you will want to remove this one pin at a time with your hook, and I will be right back when I finish that. So here is my finished bracelet, and I absolutely love it. And again, this is the Checker Burst bracelet, and it is designed by at LTB Schaefer on Instagram. So please make sure to tag her and me so we can see your beautiful renditions. And my Instagram is at Lumaniac, spelled L-O-O-M-A-N-I-A-C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe. Bye.